Hi everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. We start by placing a three in row two in one of three positions because I have threes in rows one and three. I've got two fours in rows four and six, which allows me to place a four in two places in row five. And beyond the fours, I have eight, five, six, seven, nine, and two once a piece, so I'm done. The bottom three rows, I have no repeat digits. So if I look at vertical scanning, oh, I can place a three in one of two spots in column two, based on where threes are located in columns one and three. I can place a seven actually in box two, and the reason is I have seven in columns four and five which limits it to one of two positions, but the seven in row one looks left. That one's out. So seven in box two is forced. That, that puts a seven in one of those two spots in row three, box one. And vertical scanning on the rightmost columns, I have nine, two, four, seven, eight, five, once a piece, I'm done. Okay. Now, where else can I look? And row five is interesting to me because I'm missing a three is one of the digits, but it can't go here. The three in column one looks up or here. The three in column six looks down. So three is one of those two. Because I've got three and four in those two positions in the same region, that's a hidden three, four pair. So these two end up being one and six. And I know the order thanks to the one in column one. Uh, no one and something else that I clearly can't see. Two, that's a two, and that's a one. This couldn't have been one, I just had the other digit wrong. Okay, that gives me five digits in column six. Unfortunately, a six can go in two different regions, so I'm not really helped there. One, three, four, seven, eight are placed. I need two, five, six, and nine. That one can be anything at the top. This one is five or nine only. I think that's anything. That's not two. Okay, this was not helpful. Oh, I don't even have a seven and eight looking anywhere else in those spots, so Box six is not helpful. I've only got two, three, four, and nine placed. I need one, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that ends up being one or six. It can't be anything else. But that's anything. Oh, and that can't be five, seven, or eight. That, that's one or six, which I should have seen firsthand. Those are going to be five, seven, eight, and that's a triple. Okay, that gives me a one six pair to go with five, seven, eight. So I have five digits in column eight. That means I need two, three, four, and nine to place. This one I think can be any of those four digits. That one's not two or four. This one, no, that one's not three or four. This one isn't two or four. So ends up being three or nine. Okay, I have no help there. Okay, well, six can't go here, but unfortunately it could go there. So box four, I only have two, four, five, and eight. I need one, three, six, seven, nine. Well, these two are from six, seven, nine. Neither can be one or three. Those two are any of the digits. This one can't be three or six. It's down to one, seven, or nine. Well, that was not helpful. Okay, these are not one, four, six, seven in row six, and they also can't be two. Those are two, three, five, eight, nine. I think, yeah, 
anything is possible there. Oh, even five crosses a region. Oofta. Okay. Column 80 is going to be quite helpful once I figure out some digits, but I'm not there yet. Column 5 is no help. What about row 3 and row 9? They can't be 3, 6, or 8 in row 3. Neither of those are one or two because of two in the columns and one in the box. That one sees one and seven. That one sees seven. This one sees two, four, nine, along with seven. That one just sees seven. Interesting that this one's down to one or five, but that doesn't really interact with anything else yet. Now down here, let me select row 9 and only row 9. It can't be 158. Now, none of those are 2 or 3. That's not 7. This one, again, can't be 249, and that one's not 4. Now, that one also sees 4 and 6. Interesting. This is down to 2 digits, but I have nothing else to go with it. Okay, well, that can't be two. Okay, those those can't be two, and this one isn't because of that. So two is actually placed as a hidden digit in column three. Where else does it go? And I should have seen it from these twos. Okay, that means two through six are placed. I need one, seven, eight, and nine, and eight's forced in one of those two. And since 8 can't go here, that forces that one to be an 8. Switch, switching back to vertical scanning. Because this 8 and that virtual 8 forces an 8 in one of those three, but this can't be 8. 8 in row 3 looks left. This obviously is not 8. There's only one spot. Okay, these two are from 4, 5, 7, and 9. And neither can be 7. So those two are two-thirds of a four, five, nine, which I'm not going to get the third component of. And box one is complete, as far as options, anyway. I've got two-thirds of a six, seven, nine. I don't think this one's going to help me, though. One, two, three, eight are placed. I need four, five. Well, it can't be four. So one, two, three, four are out. It could be five and six and 7, and, annoyingly, 9. Okay. Those two cells are 8 and something. They are from 1, 7, 8, 9. That's not 7. Oh, 1 crosses a region in column 3. That's no help. This one isn't two, three, seven, eight. Unfortunately, have too many other options. But these ones force one of those three to be a one. Actually, one of those two to be a one, and the one in column five is placed both within the bounds of box two. Okay, this one isn't three, okay, that one's quite restricted. It cannot be two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. This is down to one, five, or six. This cell can't be one, two, four, seven, eight, nine. This one isn't two, three, four, seven, nine. One, five, six, eight, along with five. Seven crosses a region in column seven. That's no help.
Oh, it just occurred to me, I have nothing in column 9. That's no help. Okay, what about row 1? They can't be 3, 7, 8. That one gets 1 and 6 from its column, that's it. That one, again, can't be 3, 7, or 8. These two are not one, two, three, seven. And this one isn't one, two, seven, or eight. Oh, I just found out the hard way. Two's in one of these two. This is a two. Where does two go in column eight? I should have discerned this earlier. That one isn't two, a place that it looks to its right. None of these can be two because of the two in the box. That one isn't two by given. This two's been sitting at me the whole time under my nose. Okay, now that leaves the three, four, nine triple that I'm about to color in purple. Column 8 is complete, but that's not 2. Okay, so this 2 and this 2, of course, that one actually is a 2. It can't be anything else. So the 2 is placed in box 8. These aren't 2. Of course, that one can't be either as a consequence, but I don't know anything about where... No, yes, I do. These can't be two now. That's a two. <laughs> and this is a triple, which I just about missed. Well, that can't, now that places the two in box three. Those aren't two. All right, how many twos do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm only missing one, two. It has to go here. And yeah, it's not going to help with anything else. Okay. All right, these three are not one, two, seven, eight for box eight. That's not three by row. Neither of those can be four. That one also can't be six. All right, these two are not two, four, five, and that's it. For row and box scanning. That one takes out three and seven. And now I'm done, and now I've done something. These aren't five by that. Oh, these could be five. Oof. -da. Okay. Three crosses a region. Column three. Excuse me. Hmm. I don't see anything obvious in columns. What about rows? Nothing in three. In row three, and five crosses the region in row four. Oof. -da. So does three. Row five is basically done. Row six. I've got this one that's pesky. Oh, but where can three, where can the digit three go in box eight? These aren't three. And now none of these are three, and that can't be three because the three in column six looks down. Three's limited to one of those two cells. This is not three. Therefore, it turns into a hidden digit. That's a nine. 
That should unwind the rest of the... Not quite. I was hoping it would. Okay. These aren't nine. And these aren't nine. Okay. Similarly, where does four go? Can't go here. I can't go here. Four is also a hidden digit in box eight. I think by crossing. How many fours do I have? Okay, four is one of those and not one of these. I've only got four fours. That's not terribly helpful. But it does tell me a four is down there someplace. That tells me a three is one of these two. Therefore, that one isn't three. Say seven's there. Okay, what can I do next? I've still got three in too many places in column five. Uh, box five and, well, not quite box eight, but that means this nine's a hidden digit. <laughs> so five is placed, which places six. Okay, this isn't six. That tells me. Box 8's reduced with 3, 5, so that can't be 5 or 6, that's 7. So 9. This is now down to 4, 6. At the bottom of left of row 9. So neither of those are 6. This is now a 3, 7 pair. This can't be 7 because of the pair 6 by the place digit. That's 1 or 8. 6 is forced to one of these. Okay, we know that's a 5. Okay, 5 is one of these two. And thus, not there. That also can't be 5, be uh, neither can that, because the 5 in the box. Okay, this is not 9, that's not 7, so now I've got a 1-8 pair in row 8 and uh, column 3. This couldn't have been 9, it now can't be 1, that's a 7, so that's 7. Come on, ah, right, that's a mistype. Okay, these aren't seven. Six, nine places four. This can't be four or nine, that's a five. These are four and nine. It comes down and places six. Oh, one eight now makes this five. Neither of these are six, seven. Six, nine means those can't be nine and is now one, three. Let's see, 5 in row 3 looks to the right. That's 1. This is 9. That's forced to be a 4. Forced to be a 5. This now can't be 1 5. That's 6. This one, 4, 5, 9. It sees 4, 5, 9 in the box. That's an 8. 1, 6. Okay, these are... These two are down to three eight, which places nine, three, five, nine in row six places the six nine. The six in row six places the one six finally. 
a 7 in row 4 will make it a 5-8 pair, which places the 7. In box 6, I now have 8, 1, 3, 7. Oh, I get a 3 in the corner, so I get a nice party as we wrap this thing up in just over 20 minutes. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Maybe I was a little verbose in the explanation. But at this stage of the game, I like to see what's in front of me. Not too shabby.